In the late 19th century, European powers were competing for territory and resources in Africa. This period of colonization was known as the Scramble for Africa, but there was one country that remained independent. Ethiopia. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. Ethiopia, also known as Abyssinia, had a rich history and culture dating back thousands of years. It was a land of mystery, with its own unique language, religion, and customs. In the late 1800s, Ethiopia was ruled by Emperor Menelik II. He knew of the European power's plans to colonize Africa and was determined to protect his country's independence. When European diplomats attempted to negotiate a treaty that would give them control over Ethiopian territory, Menelik II outsmarted them. He had the treaty translated into his native Amharic language, and found that the Europeans had included a clause that would have made Ethiopia a protectorate, effectively a colony. Menelik II refused to sign the treaty and began to mobilize his army. In 1896, his forces defeated a heavily armed Italian army at the Battle of Adwa, proving that Ethiopia was a formidable opponent. Despite this victory, Ethiopia faced many challenges in the years to come. It was invaded by fascist Italy in the 1930s, but the country's people never lost their spirit of independence. It remained under Italian occupation until 1941. During this time, Ethiopian resistance fighters waged a guerrilla war against the occupying forces, eventually succeeding in driving them out with the help of Allied forces during World War II. Ethiopia was finally able to regain its independence in 1941. Today, Ethiopia is a proud and independent nation, known for its rich history, diverse cultures, and breathtaking landscapes. It remains a symbol of African resistance against colonialism. And that, my friends, is why Ethiopia was never colonized.